guess what I got? Another Lush haul. Lush from the website. Um, yeah, I know. You guys are probably thinking, why does she haul her Lush stuff so much? Why does she have to be so obsessed? Um, so I hope you have some snacks and a drink. And I was actually... Um, I'm actually filming another video, which is my uh, what I'm eating in a day, and um, then the UPS man knocked on the door, so now I'm doing this one, and then I'll resume the other filming and get this one uploaded, so um, yeah, so um, cheers, it's my water, oh I really need that too because my throat's really dry, um, so let's see what's in the box here. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, show you actually a uh, Lutch, Lut, Lutch, ha, wow, I'm really, this is the um, Magic Bath Bomb from the uh, Lush Kitchen, it was, uh, it was actually made on February 28th, but I bought this on eBay, so, um, I can't tell you how much this actually was because it was a UK um, bath bomb, but it is made with, uh, it has a really odd, strange, really strong smell. Like, I smell peppermint and like some kind of peppery, but I don't know, this kind of intrigued me just because it looks like um, the Experimenter bath bomb. But, um, this is made with uh, this is made with uh, thyme, I guess, and rose absolute, um, basil oil, and I think it has parsley in it too. I don't know. It's very, very herbally. I mean, I guess this is probably something you, a bath you would want to take if you're like sick or something. I don't know, but. I will show you that I think um, what in, if I can get this open now because I haven't really opened it because I wanted to wait to show you guys and I hope you like the new angle because I feel like the other angle I'm just sitting on the floor right now which is kind of painful so I'm gonna try to get through this kind of fast because I don't really like this <laughs> but um, I love the shape of this it's like a very pretty blue oh wow who whoa yeah you can I don't know, it's a very odd smell, but like I saw this in the kit in the Lush UK kitchen and it really intrigued me and I wanted to buy it. So I don't think I'll be able to wrap this up the same way, but I'm probably just gonna put it in like a Ziploc or something to uh, keep it protected. But um, you probably saw this as a spoiler as my uh, Lush storage thing, but who cares? Um, I'm showing it to you anyway. And I don't want to get this stuff all over my table. Okay, so there's that. And, um, like I said, I can't really tell you what I paid for it, so... So, I apologize for that, because it was the Lush UK, and pounds to dollars just... Or, yeah, you know what I mean? Next thing I got is from the, um, Mother's Day collection. I actually got this in the U.S., because, uh... Um, I'm actually kind of disappointed in the U.S. selection because the U.S. the U.K. Mother's Day collection, although Mother's Day comes in March, there, um, they had this bath bomb, and there was also another one, a bubble bar I wanted, but they didn't. The U.S. wasn't like picking it up this year, so I guess um, yeah. But the only thing I got for the um, Mother's Day collection is the. Uh, Rose Bombshell Bath Bomb. Um, it has like, it's the same scent I think as like, um, as uh, the um, Rose Jam. Yeah. And I haven't tried the Bubble Room, but I still, but like it smells like the shower gel, but it's actually, I gotta say, it's a lot stronger of a scent. So, yeah. It's, and it has like these little roses that kind of look like they got smashed in shipping a little bit, but that's okay. 
it's still gonna fizz away the same and I think it, it's like pink and I think it has like some blue or some green inside and I know that um, based on some demos I have watched of this bath bomb it actually has um, oh this one's kind of dented I just realized that oh. Oh no, it's not dented, it's just in between the little rosy things, but anyway, um, I think it has like a yellow rose petals in it, so I'm really excited to try that when I take my next bath. Um, although it's getting to the summertime and I'm kind of like not wanting to take baths, I'm wanting to take more like showers and stuff, but you know, that's neither here nor there, so. Um, oh, and uh, I actually paid, in the U.S. it is um, $6.95. So, um, that's how much I paid for that. Um, the next thing I have here, actually I will show you also, I um, got a couple duplicates from my last haul because I needed to repurchase these because I, I love them so much. Um, Golden Egg, um, luckily online still had some and luckily it's still in this package because if I touch it, I will have glitter everywhere, <laughs> and the glitter will just be contained in the package, and again, um, that one is uh, $8.95, and also I have another fluffy egg, which, um, which is the uh, pink one with the flowers on it, um, and it smells like Snow Fairy, which is why I had to get another one because I mean yeah I still have one more left but um, I kind of like this combination with um, my magic wand reusable bubble bar and the uh, melting marshmallow moment bath oil so they all smell so good and yeah the fluffy egg bath bomb is $5.95 and also the uh, final thing I got from the Easter Collectionis is the uh, Bouncy Bunny Shower Jelly. And you've already seen what it looks like and this is all taped down. I have not opened this because I'm still using my other one. I just love the smell of this thing. I had to get another one. This one I'll probably be using a little bit more sparingly because I'm probably going to have to wait another year for if they bring it out next year. Oh, and look, the guy who made it looks like Jesus. <laughs> look at that. Does Jesus work at Lush? I don't know. <laughs> I would certainly hope so in heaven. <laughs> um... And the uh, next two things are from just like the normal, regular everyday line and I really wanted to try them both. Um, first is the Honey I Washed the Kids soap and it smells just like golden egg and um, because they both share the same scent. This is $7.95 on the Lush website and and of course this will probably go in like a Ziploc later because I'm about to, um, and I was waiting to unwrap this to show that went for when I showed this to you guys. So if I can get this open without like overly destroying the wrapper. Oh. And here we are. Oh, it's in another wrapper. Oh, well, maybe I don't need to, but maybe you'll be able to see this. Um, it's a bar of soap. It, oh, maybe not. Okay. Um, I'm probably going to have to put this in a Ziploc or something later, but... Um, oh, this smells really good. It's really kind of slimy, soft up down here, and... Um, this particular soap has a little honey thing on top. It's not vegan, so, um, but I'm really getting attached to the smell. I think this is becoming one of my favorite Lush scents, and it's one of Lush, Lush's, like, best-selling soap scents and yada yada. 
but I really love this smell. But it's kind of not the best color though, but you know. I cannot wait to uh, use this to wash my hands because, oh, maybe my hands have gotten a little bit sticky from that, but yeah, it's probably going to need to be ziplocked like my uh, magic. Okay. Enough of that. And um, the other thing, not the prettiest color, but I really love the smell because it also shares the smell of honey I wash the kids. This is called the It's Raining Men Shower Gel, and I know that I usually like to wait to use stuff before I, um, until after I try to haul this stuff, but I could not resist this, this shower gel because I've already used it twice. Um, it's the It's Raining Men Shower Gel. It's $9.95 on the uh, Lush US site, and this is the 3.3 .3 fluid ounce bottle, and um, it's like, so, it smells like, um, it smells like one of those, um, candies, like one of those hard candies. I don't know if it's like the Werther's or the, um, or those like butterscotch candies that you, that pe old ladies at church used to hand out to you, but I don't know this, and it's like a toffee scent too. It's like, it's like all the good things, all the good things. I really love the smell. And I've used this twice already. I used it this morning and I think I used it like Saturday or something. I can't remember the last time, but um, I don't have to worry about using this sparingly because like I can always get more because this is part of their regular line and I'll probably buy the bigger bottle next time because I love it that much. And it's becoming one of my favorite scents. And um, also really quick to show you in both of these packages because these were both separate orders. Um, I got this rough with the smooth sample, um, and it smells like Lordemus roll, which is not particularly my favorite scent. I'm sorry, but maybe I'll I'll probably use this as a scrub, but I would not buy it personally because I'm not the biggest Lordemus roll fan. I'm sorry. I don't want to hurt the feelings of those who love it, but it's personally not for me um but that's all from the first order now the second order has to do with emoti bombs which am i saying that right emoti bombs but um they're basically bath bombs for your shower and i got an email and i saw a youtube video of these emoti bombs and i was like oh they're limited edition i think and oh spot is video bombing me look at this do you see this I'm getting video bombed. Okay, but yeah, these are the emoji bombs. I got one of each. Um, hopefully, they, it would be nice if they made them regular line for like, because I kind of want to buy more now um, because they all smell so good. Um, let's see. We have the Up You Gets emoji bomb. And oh, the leg is broken off. No. But he kind of reminds me of that running man icon from uh, AOL AIM messaging and um, it smells it smells like a really citrusy orange candy like um, I think this smells like kind of like a actually no this smells like um, Sour Patch Kids I cannot wait to use this bomb it is the up you gets and this retails for $5.95 and the poor little leg, but it'll still fizz this or it'll still use the same, I'm sure. But basically what you do with the emoji bombs is you put these at the base of your shower, like you know where the water is falling into your tub or your shower, and you have to have like fairly warm water and it kind of releases a steam up into the shower with the fragrance and um yeah, I really, I think this one is my favorite. I'm probably going to have to get more of these before they sell out because, oh my goodness. Um, yeah, but that's basically what they do. And I think they're probably, this one is good for a morning shower, I believe. This would definitely wake me up. <laughs> but, you know, I know that, but I still can't forego coffee sometimes, you know, but. 
<laughs> spotty. He just wants to lay on the couch while I'm filming the video, so <laughs> he's wanting to be in the video too. So, a little video collab with Spot. <laughs> Um, the next emoji bomb, because there were three of these, um, this is the too drunk emoji bomb. And this has like a minty, ooh. To me this smells like a York peppermint patty. I think it has like mint and a little bit hints of orange in there and kind of smells a little chocolatey. I don't know if that's what it's meant to smell like, but, um... This particular one, it looks like a crown, and supposedly, supposedly, or if you uh, get too drunk at a party or the club or karaoke or whatever you do the night before, and um, you have to be up the next day sharp as a tack and not look like you have a hangover, um, this is, I hear, is supposed to be really good for that. Um, I think this could also be good for the sinuses, too, because... Um, or if you have a general migraine, or if you have migraines or something like I do, um, I would just pop this in the bottom of the shower. I, I haven't tried these yet, but I'm dying to. But, um, yeah, you put this in the same as the others, and it releases the scent if it's supposed to help with your headache or sickness or whatever. But I think it's for more for headaches and whatnot from hangovers, but I think it could be more than just headaches. I just wish I got this package and did this haul before because I do have a little bit of allergies and I have a feeling this would help with the allergies as much as the other ones do, I think. And this one with the little hand prints on it. So it's a purple hand prints. Oh, and I forgot to tell you the, the uh, Too Drunk one looks like a little crown and it has a little green thing on it so um but yeah um this has this hand on it this is called sex in the shower and um this has a different scent from the other two it's more it's more of a florally scent um i heard this shares the scent of something else at lush but i'm not sure what it is but um kind of smells a little bit like uh, granny takes a dip in my mind um, a little bit, yeah. But, um, this one just has a purple hand, and this one actually, um, oh, yeah, this has citric acid, um, juniper berry, ginger oil, lang-a-lang -lang oil, am I saying that right? Lang-a-lang, -lang. orange, and jasmine, absolute, um, so this is kind of more of a, ooh, mimosa absolute. So I think this is meant for like a sexy shower if you want to share the shower with somebody or, you know, you just plop this in the shower and it's supposed to get you in the mood. I don't know. But, um, this one was actually a dollar more. This is six ninety five. dollars Um, but hopefully they, um, make these things a regular thing because, um, and maybe come out with more because I really think, that, I hope that these would be a really good concept for um, those who can't buy bath bombs and um, those who are just forced to be in the shower and they just want to be pampered like us bath taker people do. But I'm anxious to try these because, you know, I'm a Lushy and it's like every time something new comes out and, and Lush and it like calls to me, it's like Lush come on now, shut up and take my money. That's why I'm into doing these hauls, these Lushy hauls for you guys. And, um, but yeah, um, make sure that you, uh, leave a comment, like, and subscribe to my channel and, um, for more videos if you're new. And I will also leave my social media links in the description down below and I will see you guys in the next video because I'm also in the process of doing another video which is the what I'm eating in a day and I haven't had my chocolate yet and I need it so I will see you guys next time bye Woo.